Hello and welcome to my Eureka.io review where you can create and validate your online course, online content, or book in record time. This is a software that I personally love and if you'd like to grab it, I will leave my link in the description and if you click that, you can currently get a special deal on this software. I don't want to talk too much about it because eventually it's going to change or end and I don't want to confuse anyone with the pricing changes. So let's give you some examples about how this works. So what you can do in the beginning is search for a keyword or phrase. So for example, let's see, create an online course. You know, an online course about how to create an online course. So they have over 260,000 courses that it can go through, uh, check the trends, the score, plenty of the other uh, courses that are in here to see like what you should create, what you shouldn't create, and so on and so forth. But once this is done very shortly, I'll get back to you and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so here we have our opportunity score, which is 50. It says, okay, might be on the something. Just make sure the topic is not too broad, of course. Me personally, I already know that this is very popular. You see plenty of people showing you how to turn your knowledge into income, of course. We have our topic search trend. So sometimes the date isn't going to be as up to date. I've noticed that different other phrases or keywords can be a little bit higher, but based on this information, this looks pretty good if you ask me. So as you can see, we have plenty of courses with all the titles, we have the niche, so subcategory, topic, a badge if it's the highest rated, which is good, duration when it's been updated, estimated earnings and students. So for this, let's change this around so we can actually go by the estimated earnings. I don't want to go by the lowest either, so we want the highest. So as you're going to see right here, how to create an awesome online course. If it was estimated that you know this many people paid this price, it would earn around $2 million. However, I know from being on Udemy and Skillshare and a lot of platforms is that many times they do coupons or give away courses for free just to get testimonials. So that's probably not going to be 100% accurate, but at least it talks about some of the more important things like the rating, the price, and so on and so forth. So let's go to this one since it seems pretty good. And this is what's going to show you. Of course, if you want to actually go to the Udemy page itself, you can go there and check it out. But let's go back. It's going to talk about with the sales page and the descriptive copy. We also have the outlines and the modules. Everything is going to be on the right side with course validation. This is pretty much course validation right here. Uh, this software is going to do exactly this for you without needing to like crowdfund it or, you know, this is going to validate it yourself, creating your lesson, putting the course together, recording it, hosting it, promoting and selling. So, so this is looks like pretty solid in terms of the steps, right? If you were going to create a course, you have to validate it, which is what we're doing now. Create your first lesson, put it together, record it, host it, promote it, and sell it. So that seems like a very good step-by-step -step formation. So we also have the AI gap analysis and the AI review analysis. These are going to be great when it comes to showing what can be improved and what can be added, which is huge if you ask me. Now, I've noticed that sometimes like the AI review analysis won't always go through. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That's been one thing I've noticed about this. Not a huge deal because there's so many other things we can get analysis of, but let's go with this. So we have results for how to create an online course once this is done. Okay, it is already done. So based on the given course content outline, here's what is missing and that could be included. So this is a huge deal when it comes to this. We're looking at some of the most popular, best-selling courses on a specific topic, and it's literally telling you this is how you improve it. This is how you one-up. This is pretty much how you win in business, especially if you're creating a course. I mean, that's what everything is nowadays. Look at the iPhone and all these other phones that are coming out. They're always one-upping each other, getting better, getting better, getting better. Same thing with software. If you look at, say, GetResponse and Aweber, back when I started over a decade ago, they were just email. Now they're literally all in one platforms. Now they have websites. Now they have landing pages. Now they have sales funnels. Now they have webinars. Why? Because other companies have improved and they need to keep one-upping and one-upping and one-upping. And this is perfect right here because that's what it can help you do specifically with a course. And you don't even need to go create a software and add on new platforms to it, right? All you need to do here is really saying it could benefit from including a section on best practices for engaging and interacting with students, okay? So that could literally be like adding a quiz or like a group, a Facebook group, right? A module on measuring measuring student success and feedback, all right? That could be having a form or a survey. A section on legal considerations and intellectual property. Now, as someone who has taught a lot of courses, stuff like this comes up every now and then. 
And probably the reason why the course creator doesn't talk about that or can't talk about it because they're not a lawyer, okay? So if you've ever had that criticism yourself, it's for good reason. Like I don't go and talk about stuff that a lawyer would need to do because I am not a lawyer. So keep that in mind. There are gonna be times like this. I've seen it myself just because I've had a lot of feedback from my courses. I can't touch upon something that I'm not a lawyer, you know, where a lawyer needs to touch upon that. So anything legal considerations, just kind of my two cents there. But let's go to AI review analysis. Let's see if this goes through. Okay, so this is what I've noticed. This has been like the one bug in here that sometimes the output won't go through. So that's been like one of the little nitpicks I've had so far. Let's see, did we do this one or did we do the other one? I forgot already. Let's see. Okay, cool. So this is a different one. See, now it's showing up. So this is perfect. So sentiment analysis. So the negative reviews of this specific course. The overall negative sentiment is based on the course being too basic, not providing newer valuable info, and not being relevant to PC users. That's kind of interesting if you ask me when it comes to PC and Mac or so on and so forth and back and forth. It's not going to make a huge difference aside from like copying and pasting unless you have a specific software that is only for PC or only for Mac and so on and so forth. So that's interesting. Once again, and frustration with the focus on specific tools like Mac software. Okay, so if they are talking about something where you have to use Mac software and you don't have Mac, that could be a problem. So that's a consideration for you. Are the tools that you're recommending, can a Mac software person use it? Can an Apple person use it? Or, or a PC person, excuse me, back and forth. So positive reviews is overall engaging and enthusiastic instructor, hopefully like yours truly, okay? Practical teachings and step-by-step -step approach. So this is really good. Um, is the person talking as dull as dishwater? Kind of like the guy in, uh, I was going to say Saving Sarah Marshall, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off where he's like, Bueller, Bueller, like no one wants to listen to someone like that, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. What I'd recommend you doing if you're doing a video course create it and have someone else listen to it and have them just tear you apart. Be honest about it. Am I too boring? Am I too dull? Sometimes I'm too fast talking and I'll get comments like that every now and then. But I think when I speak faster, I'm more energetic and so on and so forth. So it's a balance thing. Like get some critical feedback from someone. So insights for improvement, the gold mine right here. Update the course content to be more relevant and current. That makes sense. If they created this in 2018, which we I'm just throwing that out there, we can see the date. Clearly, you're going to want to do that, right? Provide more info and resources for different platforms and software options. Okay, perfect. So this goes back to the whole, you know, PC, Mac thing. Um, ensure a consistent workflow and focus on creating an actual course rather than specific tools or software. So this one seems like too software focused. While I understand you're probably going to need software when it comes to creating a course, make it more about like how you create that course and do like the software last or maybe not as big of a deal. So that was some pretty good analysis there. That's just an example. I'm gonna do one more topic. Since I'm gonna be using this to create my product about YouTube and affiliate marketing, it's what I've been doing for a long time. So we have our opportunity score, we have our topic search trend. You'll notice we have a badge here, we have the bestseller. Estimated earnings is almost 3 million, almost 25,000 students. So this is an absolute gold mine of information when it comes to me and looking to create obviously a course. So this we have also our duration, this is gonna be the hours and minutes. So that's like 13 hours of content. I'm gonna be looking just at a different one. This has a 4.4 rating. That's not too bad. YouTube Affiliate Marketing Masterclass. Okay, so we have our AI gap analysis with this. Here's what is missing. Okay, so this is perfect. So uh, include a section on audience engagement and building a community. Adding a module on monetization strategies beyond affiliate marketing. I know plenty myself. Case study of real life examples of successful campaigns. So that's perfect. Give your students the confidence that works. Here's a case study where I created one video and it's made me $6,000, just an example, right? Including a segment on analyzing YouTube analytics. So this is a really good one. Even myself as a YouTube creator, I don't go into the analytics as much as I should, but the times that I do go in there, it's like, wow, this is performing well. Why is it performing well? Well, we should create more content similar to that. Just little strategies like that can, that can really help you create more ideas and create more videos. So introducing best practices for collabing if you wanna do that. And once again, this one talks about legal considerations and compliance with FTC. Of course, you can give people like guidelines and show them what the FTC wants, but at the end of the day, doing legal stuff is pretty tough when you're not a lawyer. Like I can't give out tax advice. I am not a, a certified public accountant and so on and so forth. So I can see why people would say that, but a lot of the times people don't have it just because they're not a lawyer, okay?
Let's go back over here. And I think you get the idea with that. This one's the best seller. I think we're sorting by uh, estimated earnings here. Let's go back to the top there. We don't care about the smaller ones. I mean, we can look at those too, but right. This is also great because we get a lot of good ideas in terms of titles that we can use for creating our product. Okay. So this one goes to April 24. Great. This is a great search trend. I like what I see there. And there's going to be some other things like we have platform research here. Let's go over. So we can choose a specific platform. Udemy is clearly going to be the winner here. They have so much traffic. I'm going to go with Udemy. All right, now that that is loaded, we can select the category. So for me, I'm just gonna go with marketing again. And now just based on marketing and Udemy, once again, we can go with like the estimated earnings. Let's do the best. Okay, and for this one, like I said, it's just a guesstimate, but if you had to like multiply 199 by this many students, this one probably hasn't made $157 million. Like I said, Udemy is all about giving coupons. So like, although this says $200, like every now and then it'll be like 10 or 15 and so on and so forth. Plus a lot of these students could be entering for free, but nevertheless, the complete digital marketing course, okay? Uh, Facebook ads and Facebook marketing mastery. Let's go with this one here, 12 hours, a lot of students, good rating, bestseller. This is just a great way to notice like what are people buying when it comes to marketing? Like what are people buying when it comes to some of these other things? You can do business as well. You can do health. You can do software. But let's click on this one more time. We've already gone through these, right? We know the process. We have our modules on the right. There's going to be a lot of information there. Sometimes I feel like courses don't need to be this long where it's literally just fluff. Like unless someone is like brand new and they just want to learn, there's a difference between providing a course that's going to give information and that there's a difference on the other side where it's going to be providing transformation. Like at the end of the day, does someone just want to learn a lot of stuff? That's easy to do. But the idea is say, if I'm creating a YouTube affiliate marketing course, I want people to be able to go in there, obviously create videos and get results, create commissions, grow their brand, generate leads and so on and so forth. I don't want them to just know the content. I want them to live it and obviously earn from the content. So that's just my little view on that. Sometimes I feel like these Udemy courses, like 22 hours long, first of all, I don't think many people are watching all of that, like maybe less than 1%. And I feel like that's almost a little bit too much fluff, even though I know it is the complete digital marketing course. Nevertheless, some people like that, some people don't. You know, that's where you can look at like the reviews and so on and so forth. We have book research. Honestly, in my opinion for this, let's just do... I think works better is actually going through the course research research and finding it that way. I think it's a little bit better. This is just going to show you some of the books that have been created. There's definitely not as much, I guess you could say, uh, data going on here. Like if you go here, we have loading our book preview. We have a description and not much else as well. This is more so just showcasing you like what's out there. But I think course research is much better where if there's a lot of people buying a course, you're probably going to have a good or a similar success rate when it comes to book research and how you sell it and so on and so forth. Lesson Architect is fantastic. I already have some information pre-written in here, but let's say we're doing a course. This is going to be audience type. Just say like other add your own or you could do beginner. That's going to be fine. I'm going to call it video affiliate mastery. We want to focus on creating a small, small YouTube channels that bring in big profit. And so for some keywords to include in this, we have video creation, keyword research, video optimization, AI video scripts, and affiliate marketing. Don't want to exclude anything. This is going to be for an outline as opposed to a description or summary. Once again, I'm creating an outline. Say I want to have six modules. I'll go with five. And the preferred you know, course time, let's say around five hours or so. Let's generate and see what we get. All right, that didn't take all too long. So what it's gonna do is actually give you hooks. We have our introduction. So are you ready to unlock the secrets of creating small YouTube channels that bring in big profit, our key ideas? Then we have section two, learn how to create engaging and profitable videos that drive affiliate sales. Uncover the secrets to finding the best keywords for your video content. So that's a really good hook, I like that. The cool thing about this is that when we have these hooks, you can use them in your sales presentation. Say if you have a webinar, you could do it on your landing page, on your sales letter, in your YouTube video, in your YouTube description, in your emails, whatever it's going to be. So some good information here with section four, we have scripts and automation, 
uh, how to revolutionize your video creation process, learn how to turn your YouTube channel into a profitable affiliate marketing machine, and so on and so forth. So I'd say those are some of the biggest features when it comes to Eureka. As you saw, it is fantastic when it comes to validating a course idea. There's a just a wealth, it's just a gold mine of research and information that you can utilize so that you don't take a month to create a course, put all this time, sweat, and energy into it. And then when you go to sell it, you just hear crickets because you never simply typed in your topic in here, saw the search trend, saw the opportunity score, and realized not many people are creating a course on this topic. And that should give you an idea that it's not something you want to create in the first place. So absolutely fantastic software when it comes to course creation, getting up and running, and of course, validating your idea because I know a lot of people really worry about that. This is going to take that away from you so you don't have to worry about it and get up and running much quicker. If you would like to test out Eureka.io, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, keep in mind they currently do have a special deal, which will be ending eventually, but check that out for all the details yourself. Really fantastic software, despite the fact there's like one little bug here every now and then when we go to do our AI like review analysis. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, but overall, there's plenty of topics to choose from where you can get more information that you need. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.